Hello. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about how you set up your classes or what some people might call fleets in wholesale for typical club racing scenarios. You see this is the home page of wholesale. I have um, logged in with my credentials up here and we're going to talk mainly about what you can do in the classes menu. So let's start off by just listing the classes that I've already set up. And here we are. You see I have set up five classes for this club. They have a cruiser class, uh, which is a, an IRC handicap fleet with 12 boats in it. They have a flying 15, one design fleet where they raise level, no handicaps, seven boats in that. They have a handicap dinghy fleet um, racing under Portsmouth Yardstick, 18 boats in that. They have a laser fleet um, racing level, one design again, eight boats in that. And finally, they have an overall handicap fleet where all the boats in the club race together and all 37 boats in the club are members of that. Now, some boats uh, will probably need to be members of more than one fleet. Um, for instance, um, the lasers might sometimes race just with other lasers racing level. Other times they might race in the dinghy handicap fleet, so they will need to be members of both of those fleets. Now, Halsail provides a very useful um, cross-tabulation of the boats and the classes. Let's have a look at that. So here we are. This shows um, across the top, it shows the different classes that we've just been talking about. Down the side, it shows all the boats in the club. And if we just scroll down to the bottom, you can see that um, in the cruiser, cruiser class, there are 12 boats. The Flying 15 class, there are 7 boats. Handicap dinghies, 18 boats. Lasers, 8 boats. Overall handicap, 37 boats. Now you notice that where a where a boat is a member of a particular class, let's take this top one for instance, a Westerly Corsair um, member of the cruiser class, and this uh, this number here shows its handicap, its IRC number in that particular class. If we give that um, a click, you will see that um, the handicap is 0 0.934 um, in the cruiser class. And if you look at its um, Portsmouth Yardstick number in the overall handicap class, there we are, 1220 in the overall handicap class. Um, looking at the next row down, a Flying 15, it um, is a member of the Flying 15 class. No handicap needed for that, it just raises level. But it is also a member of the overall handicap. And you notice that the handicap number has a green border here. That is because uh, 1013 is the standard Portsmouth Yardstick number for a Flying 15. If we were to change its handicap, and you don't have to stick to the, to the standard ones, Halsale allows you to use any handicaps you like, but if we, for instance, were to change its handicap to 1010, then it would come up on the cross-tab display with a red border to it, just to highlight the fact that you are um, just that you are not using the standard handicap. Um, perfectly legitimate to do that. Clubs are encouraged not necessarily to use the standard handicaps if they don't suit their particular waters, but it just um, makes sure that you realize what you're doing. So let's just go back and put it back to the standard handicap, which is 1013. There we are, gone back to green again. Quite a few useful features of this um, type of display. First of all, we can um, we can use the uh, sorting buttons here to just have a look at the cruisers, see all the list of cruisers in descending order of their IRC handicaps. Um, we could look at um, the dinghy handicap fleet and see its handicaps in ascending order of Portsmouth Yardstick numbers. Let's go back to the sale number uh, sorting, go down to the bottom and you can see a little um, well, first of all, you can see again the different classes and the number of boats in those classes. It also gives you an explanation of the um, the green border, the red border, and the grey border, which is where they're either for a level class or where there is no 
standard handicap like um, for the Sigma 33. Now let's go back to the list of classes. Let's suppose that we need to set up a new class. Let's suppose that um, some of the cruisers want to experiment with ORC triple number handicapping as opposed to IRC. Uh, ORC triple number handicapping is where you have a different handicap for light winds, for medium winds and for heavy winds. So let's set up a new class. So go to classes, new class. Let's call it the ORC test class and we're going to use it um, for trials of the triple numbers and it is an ORC handicapping and we'll note you notice that once we change the handicap type to ORC uh, we ask this question does this class use triple ratings for different wind strengths low medium and high because you don't have to use the, di the different numbers with ORC but it is a possibility and we'll say yes so here we are save changes and there we are there is our um, new class uh, set up for o ORC um, handicap experiments now the ORC class hasn't got any boats in it so let's go back to the cross tab display and start putting some boats in so here we are down the left hand side is our boats across the top here is um, our um, list of classes and here's the ORC class and if you scroll down to the bottom you can see it doesn't have any boats in it so let's suppose that the um, the hustler the, sorry the Sigma 33s are going to be members of the um, of the ORC class here we are, the ORC class, second from the right. So let's go Sigma 33. Here we are, this one here. Um, we'll click here to make it a member of that class. So we don't. I don't know what its ORC number is, but presumably a Sigma 33 will um, perform roughly according to its IRC number in medium winds. Um, let's suppose that it's a little bit slower in light winds and um, maybe slightly above its handicap in heavy winds. So here we are. There's our first member of the ORC, ORC test class. Let's put in the other sigmas. Here's a Sigma 8, he's a bit faster. I don't know whether these numbers are at all representative, I'm just putting them in for now. there we are. ORC test class has four boats in it. Back to my list of classes. ORC test class for the triple numbers four boats in it. Uh, what we'll have to do now of course is set up some races for it and what I will be showing you in the next video is how to sh set up um, a tandem series so that rather than scheduling races specifically for this class we will take um, results from the IRC cruiser class and use them to give a second set of results for the ORC class. And that was my reduction to um, classes or fleets in wholesale. Thank you very much.